Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new reaction video. Oh. Oh, I'm alive. Hello. How are you? I'm doing really well. She's Thank doing so you. well. Yeah, she just woken up from her bloat. Like I say, so, um, hi Luxaria. <laughs> the woman was too stunned to speak. Today we are back for another ridiculous post reaction. So we thought it would be fun. And yes. I, I, to, so I'm on Facebook and I am, I follow quite a few like, meme groups i guess and one of them is okay boomer she's we're relatable she's relatable but basically it's just like the most obscene post you know from a select a selection of people who think they own the world. Yes. <laughs> That's the best I do, way. I do actually also want to say though that I feel like when, I feel like boomer is also a mentality. Oh, boomer like, occasionally boomer I could be a mentality. Quite, yeah, I could be quite boomer about certain things. Like, yeah. no, TikTok. So should we just get straight on to it? Let's get yeah. into it, Okay, girl. so hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell. Maybe leave a comment down below. What's your most boomer moment? Self-checkout this way. No, thank you. I don't work here. Oh. There, you, uh, okay, so th there are so many people who would come up to me on the self-scan when I worked at Morrison's. Uh, just like, this is a self scan. Uh, do, do it, it for me. me. That's do why it. you're here. You do it for me. It's like, well, you that's can... not what I'm here for. I'm no, here to make sure they're working. You can also go over there and queue on the queue yes, and you have could. somebody else do it for you yep. if you want, but you will be waiting and they also are like, then like, no, 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 I'm never, I'm very so... important. Don't you understand who I am? I fought in the war. Like, <laughs> also, no, you didn't. You're a boomer. <laughs> also, there was also a really stupid thing. There are people who would come over to you and like, obviously with self-scan, it's a very small area that you yeah. can even use and then have trolleys to be like, well, there's no one I... here. I'm like, nah. you can't uh. bring a huge trolley in this tiny area. Yeah, you can't pay for like 683 objects exactly. through a self-scan. Or if you run out of bags. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness me. They'd be like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> also, but also it's like people drop litter and be like, well, someone's job to clean that yeah, up. Yeah, do, do What are you that. doing? We don't, don't dial 911. Sorry, grandma. Oh my oh, no. God. Oh, guns, guns. 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 Unhinged. Guns. Unhinged. I, I... We don't dial 911. We just we... shoot them. Yeah, we like, oh, I've got a minute. My son's got an upset tummy. <laughs> well, we just <laughs> shoot him. <laughs> what's the point? What's the point? He's like, oh, I've actually broken a leg. Well, we don't call an ambulance. We just put you out of your misery. <laughs> it's very like the horse has That's got a dodgy it. knee. Yeah, but... Time to be made into glue. <laughs> <laughs> With the USA divided, I'm just glad to be on the side that believes in God, has the most guns, and knows which the restroom to use. Oh, that's so funny. That is, oh um, my. The I, I just, I don't like. Okay, boomer, do and what? Move on with your life, sis. It's like, depressing. <laughs> it's like no amount of being like, well, actually, perhaps other people that don't look and act like you are also considered to be people. Exactly. No, 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 I've got a gun. I'm gonna shoot you. I don't call 911. The illegal immigrants. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's How so do you have this much like energy for all this. Like someone went onto Photoshop and was like, we need to find a picture of America, put it in the flag, and then put a little plaster on it. And be like, yeah. with the USA <laughs> divided, girls. Like, no, this is not biblical. You are not like exactly. That's you are something. Not the main character. Bring it no up one God. Cares. Bring it up God. God. What's God gonna do? Which God? Which, yeah, which God exactly. do you which believe God? in? Which, which one? What's this? Pending Barracuda. Is that Barracuda? <clears throat> Jack, I hate when people post things for sale on Facebook. There's other places to sell. How rude. How rude! <laughs> but rude is in capital letters. Like, this is, so Facebook has now become like the boomer's way of sneezing into the void and just being like, blah! <laughs> And it's like their inner workings. And then people are like, <laughs> stop, why are you talking to me? It's like, you posted on this thing. What are you talking about? Like, just don't buy it then. And don't follow buy and sell pages if you get so upset. Facebook Marketplace has existed now for what? Oh, it's gotta what, be a like, couple of years at least. Right years now. and years and years. The fact that you're still shocked that people are like selling things on Facebook. Like, how? Why is it? It's very like, like I've invited like Jackie here has invited like her friend Sandra over and she's like, have you seen what she's doing? Yeah. Selling on Facebook. How yeah. rude. How but she's rude. selling just in a public forum and it's <laughs> yeah, just like, <laughs> you idiot. You've now basically been like, hello, yeah. look at me. I and don't understand. Like, how dare you? It's, how dare you? The idea that you would even consider it rude. Like rude. I just don't. literally rude. It's like someone came into her house and went. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, it was really rude. I was like, why? But you doing that then just set off like some <laughs> kind of like internal like fight or flight. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> what? You were like, oh, I'm under attack. How rude. <laughs> It's so effed up that plutonium just looks like this. It could be an orange flavor and we would never know it could be delicious. Just share this on TikTok and we'll find out soon enough. The plutonium challenge. You're the ones who played with it as children, you what? idiot. But do you remember like, uh, they all just eat Tide Pods and get uh, 
<laughs> there was a study done of like how many people, like what types of people were eating Tide Pods. And do you know who came out the most? Oh God, what? Boomers. Are you joking? No, I'm not oh, joking. Oh my God. Boomers. Oh. And the reason why, it's kind of a sad reason, it's because boomers are now in that age group where they have like Alzheimer's and things like that. And they're like, what well, pretty sweets, I'm gonna eat seven. You know, there's like a grandchild intentionally doing it. Go on. Time to wait, die. Wait, also, but now we could just literally put this on Facebook and be like, oh, if you don't eat your, if you don't eat your plutonium, you'll be a liberal. And all the boomers no, will be like, oh, give me my plutonium. I don't dial 911, I just die. <laughs> oh, it's true. You can make boomers do anything by being like, well, if you don't remember your Google Mail password, you're a liberal. They're like, no, I'm a Republican voting Trumpy. How dare you? You and your pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> you're dying. <laughs> online about nonsense like we're literally going into like a huge recession that's gonna affect the world and people are online going i hate pronouns well tough shit <laughs> you made me laugh snot <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, <I'm> <laughs> Today is going to be one of those It's days. just you, you It's very like, my pronouns are <laughs> Jesus and the Bible. It's like, what are you talking about? Get a grip, sis. I feel sick. My pronouns are Jesus and the Bible. Oh, and I And that's hate my theory this. of what man needs to do to keep a woman happy. Oh, I hate this. Oh, God. Well, as we've seen before many times. You've lost a contact. Have I? Yeah. <laughs> Where Where a, a, a contact lens cut. Where did that go? <laughs> In all the excitement. Oh no, is it in your brain? <laughs> is it in my brain? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's horrendous! <laughs> she made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Snap. Oh, there we go. It's come back down. It came back down on camera. Wow. There is an easy way to make a woman happy in your life, and that is communication. 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 Nah. Treat them with respect. Yes. Don't treat them like a doormat yeah like, or a mum yeah exactly yeah, yeah. my mummy oh, mummy yeah. does it yeah yes. no when i was a kid i didn't have a laptop ipad or facebook i had true friends and hours of fun in a place called outside and that's where you were snatched by constant people <laughs> in the 70s and yeah. they're saying i didn't have facebook but you're the ones on facebook going you're i didn't have facebook <laughs> How rude! How dare you! I understand to a certain degree when we when we, we didn't have technology when we were young, and I quite you know I'm glad that we experienced kind of both worlds. Yes, I but am. But I also now don't judge or get pissed off with how the world is now. There's a yeah. big difference. Yes, yeah. I loved, I liked yeah. my outside childhood. Fine. Unfortunately, whether you agree with it or not. Technology is going to advance no matter what you do. So to stand away and be like, I'm not going to give my kid an iPad. I'm not going to give my kid a phone. Like, well, you're just, you're just setting up a failure. Yeah. Technology is the way the world's going. So yeah. to actively be like, they're never getting this. They're never getting that. You're just going to set dumb. them up a failure. It's dumb. It's so dumb. November used to be cold. Yes, grandma. That's entirely... <laughs> Isn't that a painfully accurate though? That's entirely awful. Uh, we're having an unseasonably warm November we right are, now. We, we were out yesterday and I was like, this is a bit hot. I've got yeah. to take my jumper off. Uh, so much of the idea when it comes to boomer, not like understanding of the world, it's like they blame us for plastic in the ocean when it was them who created the plastic to begin with. Yeah, literally. Plastic has been around since what, the 40s? Maybe even a little bit before. It's like, oh yes, blame the millennials. And they think millennials are like children. They, Actually, millennials are now so like 40. Th this, is the, this is the annoying thing is like so many comedians and everything make jokes about millennials and stuff, but they're actually talking about Gen Z and Gen Alpha. Yeah. And mo Who more also have no power over exactly. how the world like, is run because so they're children. It's ridiculous. Although Gen Z isn't even children anymore. It, exactly, exactly. It's just so stupid. It's like, I don't understand like why they can never just face reality that it's actually that like they're the ones who uh. up everything because they just wanted to make quick money. It's because they're special babies. They were the, like, the, the golden baby, yeah. the baby. Mm. Gen Z party poopers have ruined after work drinks. Who wants to go for after work drinks? Like, this is a workplace. I don't want to socialize with you. But also, but also the thing is, I don't like, in my work, when I used to work in 
my supermarket. I got on with my people I work with. Yeah. But most of them are not people that I would normally hang out with and have fun with normally. Mm -hmm. Like they were just work colleagues. And I think when it comes to work, like you should never feel pressured by people around you to especially go for to drinks, after, drinks work. after work. Like every day. Also for people who like, especially like people who live in London, it's very expensive just to just go for drinks all the time after work. But second of all, like we have such busy lives. Like before, when I, yeah, when I used to yeah. finish work, I would come home, make two videos and edit them and get ready to upload. Cause I was doing YouTube as well. Like uh, most yeah, people yeah, in London yeah. don't always normally have just have one job either. Yeah. It's like so much time. There's something about that we're party poopers because Gen Z doesn't want to go out getting pissed with their coworkers. But Gen Z's definitely still go out and party yeah. just because they didn't want to socialize with you, Mr. Boomer Man in, yeah. the, in the pub after yeah. work. I work always... friends are never really true friends. If you make friends at work and then leave that place at work and you're still friends with them, that's a true friend. But like, always be careful of what you're saying to work colleagues, what yes, you're saying in the don't earshot trust of any managers. Of them. Yeah. Don't trust people you work with. Not in a bad way, just in a self-preservation way. Yeah. Like it's a sensible thing to keep certain things to yourself. Mm -hmm. And the thing with alcohol, in work environments, how many office dramas have you heard of? Yes, yes, being yes. Like, hey, drunk at the Christmas party and she shat in the fountain. Yes, she did, yeah. So no, we didn't give her a raise. No, and then you all had chocolate fondue. Back in the good old days, we had no clothes, no sh snacks, no candy, no TV or iPad. We had just to get our own food and still survive. And a boomer could not do any of this. Uh, no, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you put a boomer back there, they'd be like, where is my daily mail? Oh, my oh. ass. <laughs> that's what they would do. Like, I need to go on Facebook and tell Sandra about how rude she is for selling that item. That is, so I find this quite interesting that like when it comes to like, talking about eras Survival. like eras like this back in the day when the woolly mammoth was arrived around and stuff. There is no way, even if you were born in the 50s or 40s, if you were put in this situation, you, you would, would ne struggle, like struggle. Boomers still had at least somewhat of a, a modern day is living when it comes mm -hmm. to like being able to survive. Yes, you played with plutonium, all that stupid yeah, stuff. But yeah, like yeah. you had food in the shops, you Plastic, had cafes, you had, like, you had refrigerators. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The idea that you'd be like, well, if I went back here, I could kill a woolly mammoth with my spear. Like, like no, no, you couldn't. couldn't. No, you couldn't. Uh, Imbecile. Imbecile. I hate oh, my God wife. Say. Everybody dies laughing. <laughs> yes, can you please all die? <laughs> It's just, that is, that is literally like boomer humor. Yeah, it's like, it? well, I beat my wife and she mm. died. Oh. oh, here we go. Oh, Nick girls. Adams, alpha male. Alpha males eat wings and drink beer at Hooters with the boys. Beta males nibble on tapas at Spanish vegan cafes with their wives. It's actually considered really awful of you to want to spend time with your wife. Yeah, and imagine being going to like a Spanish restaurant to try new things. Yeah, tapas is delicious. It is. Yeah, also, I... it's in Spain. Go to Spain and have tapas. The thing this is... man's like, Hooters. Like, so you want to go to somewhere, get blue balled with other men and then just yeah. be like, I hate my wife. Yeah. I'm only here because I hate her so much. I can't bear her face. Yeah. <laughs> the problem in this world is you. You are the issue. I'm the problem, it's me. When it comes to this, like I said it before, people getting like tattoos and being like, I'm hardcore. Or like, like if you ever, yeah, you should yeah. never need to tell someone you're a specific type of way. Yeah. That should just read from who you are. Yeah. yeah, you need to tell someone what kind of music you listen to unless you play it for them. There's yeah. very different things, but to be like, I'm, an alpha Gangsta. male, or I'm hardcore, or something like, it's like I read it as 16 year old angsty teenager who's trying to be like, no mum, don't talk yeah. to me, I'm hardcore. Yeah. Oh, that is so unfair. When I was your age, we had these things called songs. They were two minute stories about falling in love or burning down George. Burning down burning Georgia? Down Georgia. <laughs> but I guess Hollywood decided we needed more criminals yelling about their lady friend's baby place. The oh, lady friend's baby, baby place. place. Oh, I see that, but they. There's. Do, do, and you could you imagine trying to explain our style of music to a boomer? Oh my They'd be god. Like, what is that? But Satanic again, panic. it's such a narrow-minded idea that there was a, like they're like I'm well the only because way you can be. I liked this kind of music, therefore that was the only music that existed. Mm -hmm. There's that meme going around now on TikTok of that old what, that what, that woman from like from like the 1900s singing about the man's cock and how yeah, she's gonna yeah, make yeah 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 nipples bigger than my titties. Yeah, that and it's one. Like, and it's oh like, yeah, so when, when this yeah. provocative music never existed no, until never. the modern day. <laughs> Why does it only happen to boomers in like this mass mm -hmm. like way? Like the silent generation, which I believe your grandparents My granddad, were from, yeah, my grandparents were. They didn't behave like this. My granddad loved technology. He yeah. worked in it, he worked, he was a technology repairer before he got, he got ill. He he worked um, repairing technology in a university. My, and he loved cameras, yeah. he loved everything. When I started doing YouTube, he was so fascinated by the cameras I was using, everything. He was like, oh my God, show me, show me. My, my grandma was like a technologist. She used to put in like coding into 
uh, like law, something to do with like lawyer data science. Like, wow. Way back in like the 1930s or something. And it's like, why is boomers? It seems to be like a predominantly boomer problem, which is why we even have the phrase, okay, boomer. Mm -hmm. And things as well, like our style of music we listen to, yes, obviously adapted over time, but like hardcore music existed in the 90s. Like, yeah. Early that's Raven Harper like, music like was born in the that's 90s. Like 30, 32 years ago. Yeah, now. exactly. It's like you've got to be like, oh, nowadays. We, uh, uh, it's uh, not nowadays anymore. It, it's always happened. This kind of style of music has been around for ever. I mean, our, our style of music relies heavily on like percussion and yeah. rhythm that can go on for like a long time. That's happened since we were around fires like yeah. 12,000 years yes, ago. Yes, yes, yes. But also this whole thing, they were two minutes long. If anything, songs are shorter now than they were yeah. when we were younger. Did you, so you never heard like a Mozart ballad yeah. that was like 48 <laughs> hours long? Like what are you talking about? <laughs> when we were younger, yeah, but you were also not special when you were younger. No, no. So get over it, sis. <laughs> Every student should learn to read a tape measure instead of learning about drag queens. Do you think for a second that drag queens don't use tape measures? Like, what are you talking about? That stupid! It's unhinged. Uh, I know how to use this very simple object, so I'm right. I don't, I just don't, I'm just, I, the thing is, I think it's also quite, like, nonsensical. I feel yeah. like everything we come across when it relates to, like, the boomer mentality is just nonsense. It's, it's kind of hyperbolic, absolute ridiculous nonsense. It's like, this might as well have said, every student should learn to read a tape measure instead of being an illegal immigrant. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. It means no, it makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah. They're not firemen and don't like being called that. They're firefighters. It's probably the woman firefighters that don't like being called firemen. I just have to add that women have no business yeah. being fire fighters they simply don't have the upper body strength that men do i pray i pray a female firefighter doesn't show up if i need to be rescued oh good so you'd rather die we don't call 911 well, we, we just, just shoot stop. ourselves wow this happens all the time as well because it's so i get so confused because these men these are the type of men that are like i can beat serena williams in a tennis match it's like she would instantly, instantly kill you. Instantly devour yourself. Instantly oh, devour yourself. The yourself. patient would let me do a blood test because he thought I'd drink her blood. I bet they could be a firefighter. No. They, they'd go up a ladder and die themselves. They'll, yeah, they'll literally say like, women have no business. They don't have the upper body strength. No. I bet this man has never once stepped in a gym in no. his life. <laughs> no. And some big, huge muscle woman is going to come rescue him and he'll be like, no, no. I'm the man. I'm I the can't alpha. do it. No. no. Listen to me. <laughs> I was about me. I'm dying. The Walking Dead. I'm watching zombies again. Me too. And the, and the woman, woman is watching, watching the children. children. In this scenario, the boomer father is literally watching a screen. Yes, the yes, children yes, are. If yes. you want your children to not be so involved in their screens, be more involved in their real yes, life. Yes. Be like, we're not going to watch The Walking Dead. We're all going to go for a walk in the park. Yes. Give me your phone. And we're, we're going to become the dead. I want you to point out something nice, something this colour, and I want you to also think about the best bit of today. And we're going to yeah. have a talk about it at dinner. Yeah. How easy is that to create some sort of like fun in your life? Yeah. The reason why these children are not interested in you. Children have always gotten bored throughout yeah. the entirety of history. And yes, as a parent, you will also get bored of like tending to your children. That's absolutely fine. But it is your responsibility to provide some level of entertainment for your yes. children. And not just be like, also in this situation, who bought the phones? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid! You did! You imbecile! We picked a bad generation to start World War Three. They can't even fight anxiety from being called the wrong pronoun. No, I forgot. Boomers, you didn't fight in the war! Oh you weren't around! That's why you're called baby boomers! You were born after the war! You had nothing to do with any war whatsoever! What war did you fight in? Vietnam! Who won? Vietnam! <laughs> they say that they don't give a shit about pronouns. Uh, you, you call, call them, them the wrong, wrong pronoun. pronoun. All of a sudden they're like, oh my God, oh my, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have you, a death. How dare you? You call you call one of his turfs a cis woman. They're like, no, how no. dare you? Boomers, spend years degrading millennials for having a different lifestyle than them. Millennials in 2012, okay, boomer. Boomers, I am the victim of a hate crime. <laughs> Stanley knows what I'm talking about. That's not what a hate crime is. Well, I hated it. Yeah. That's not, we, didn't, there was this huge backlash of being like, well, if you didn't get participation trophies. We were children who were giving us the participation you trophies because it. they couldn't possibly bear the idea of their own children not winning at something for taking part. That is very um, true. That is very <sighs> true. That was very true. It was, I remember um, when we were in school, we'd do like pass a parcel and like, and there was like, the parents would get irate. The parents. <laughs> irate. Like, Why didn't my child? I'll get this. What? It's like, that's the whole fucking idea. Yeah, like, the someone point. just stops and starts the music. Hooray! Everyone's a winner. Ugh. Son, 
Dad, I've got a part in the school play. I play a man who's been married for 25 years. And the dad responds with, maybe next time you'll get a speaking part. Again, it's, I hate my wife. I wish she'd die. <laughs> it's so awful, isn't it? I my don't... wife is bad. How, are they, how do these people have wives? Because women were trained a very long time ago to be subservient to men. And nowadays, most women don't actually want mm. to do that. And this is why we have a huge backlash of like incels now being like, Why can't we get government funded wives? You're all just horrible, <laughs> horrible little girls. You horrible, horrible girl. We dressed so much better back then. Suits still exist. Uh, the thing suits is, and suits, skirts still exist. What I think is funny, actually, when, when you go back in history when it comes to dressing, it's like people just all looked the same. Yeah, they Like, really all did. the men just, like, dressed identical to each other. But, like, look at these two men. Mm -hmm. And the men in the background. Like, there's three yeah. guys here. They were only, and men were only allowed to wear suits. And that it was, was it. like, I don't understand why you want to go back to where everyone was, like, identical. Yeah. Anything unique is considered bad. It's like, I don't... It's like, they're so terrified of anything that's not like me. Mm -hmm. w but why? It must have been instilled in them as children as, like, anything different is bad and therefore dangerous. Yeah. And because they react as if they've been personally threatened. No, they, they do. They, they, it's so it's just an unhinged. Have, like people, like for example, going out and having like pink hair. People react literally like it's like you've held a knife to their they throat do. or something. No, they like, do. How dare you! Like shatter my worldview. Yeah. Well, my throat is, is really been... sore from that... screaming at the top of my. <laughs> Well, guys, this has been a lot. We uh, we are not just aboard the trigger train. We are the trigger train, and we have many passengers. Not Wait, only we... did your wig fly, your contact my lens My contact flew. lens was like, Behind Woo! the lens. <laughs> Behind the magic. Behind the magic. <laughs> Eight years ago, he lost a lens. Now Why? Now he's gay. Dying of laughter. <laughs> now he's gay. If you guys enjoy this, this... I mean, the page that we have here is just a, like, a, a gold pit. mine and a cesspit <laughs> of, like... Shit posts. Yeah. So if you want us to do like a part two, let us know because we could do eight million parts. Yes, we really could. It was this so much unhinged. stuff here. So yeah, let us know if you'd like some more down below, and please comment down below some of your own boomer moments. We mentioned like an okay boomer story in one, and someone was like, "I'm a boomer and I'm not like them," and I'm like, "Yeah, exactly that. It's very much a mindset. Even yeah. young people could be really boomerish. We mm -hmm. saw a couple of examples in this. But you could also argue if you're gonna start getting irate because we're talking boomer stories, it's kind of boomerish. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like Karen's moaning about people Being calling it Karen. Karen. It's like just, Karen's gonna be really quirky and start going by like Kaza. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm, I'm Kaza. I'm Kaza. Anyway, guys. I don't know what to say. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so there's any videos that are coming up. Thank you so much for my lovely patrons whose names you on the side of the screen here. And a massive shout out to my top tier patrons. Benjamin Baker, Bethard, Kaz.thom, Shell Herman, Christina Carl, Con Pemberton. Erin Grace, Heather McFarland, I at, Jenna, Jenna, Jenna Beth Herman, jo Joanna Krause, Caitlin Wright, Kath Catherine Ritter, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Lisa Pennington, Luke Pearson, Rachel DC Biscuit, Robin Scott, Stephanie Tech, and Zoe Server. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Be fine with space, be gay, be everything you want to be. It's only a bitch that they say that you can't be your wise at because you are flawless. Not a boomer. No.